Welcome back to Let's Play No One Lives Forever. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, this guy is very clearly following us. So I'm going to lead him to the bathroom and then clobber the shit out of him. The fuck is that? I didn't notice that before. Is there an earthquake generator in this area? You know, I kid, but this is based on James Bond stuff. By the way, shout out to, uh... Arizoko, who pointed out, and I found this very helpful, that, uh, James Bond's ratio of actual spy work to big violent action scenes is about one to nine. So, uh... Maybe I'm not doing so bad after all. have ten bullets. Oh, for God's sake. Here she comes! Oh, no, please, don't shoot! Thanks, miss. I owe you my life. Just keep your head down till this is over. What's going on? Oh, right. Sorry. Maybe they don't like it when I do that. Well, what the fuck is over here? Did you hear that? I just think I'm hearing things. You cannot escape me! Uh, you know what? Oh, crap. Alright. Oh, Thanks, miss. I owe you my life. Just keep your head down till this is over. F6, and I want to see if I can talk to that woman without my What's gun out. On? Nope, she's just freaked. Okay, if it leads to, uh, you know, us skipping to the next part of the mission, I'll just load and check out what's in there. Fuck that, I can't go this way. Damn it. I thought I was being so clever. What? Oh. Okay. Sake. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. Oh, did I not pick that up this time? Oh, yeah. I am curious about something. Oh, crap. I walked into it.
Okay. It does not kill civilians. Or me! I thought I just assumed it would lead to an instant fail state. Employees from Arno Kirchner sleeping on duty will not be tolerated. 50 DM will be paid to any employee reporting a co worker for this infraction. Now, now, snitches get stitches. We all know that. Ah. More DECA is good, DECA. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I don't know. It's Avon calling. Someone take the soup off the stove? Hey, I went more in gloves. How do I get in there? What? No. Wait, what? Phosphorus rounds! Shit, I'm pretty sure those are illegal. Um... I seem to have inadvertently pressed whatever button toggles the, uh, crosshairs. <laughs> Evidently, the crosshair toggle is J. Hot key for it. Encrypted message. KZFORHWVZW. Oh, right. I can't take a screen Steam screenshot because this is not running on Steam. Yeah, the same things that prevent there from being any, uh... ...sequels to No One Lives Forever also prevent there from being any re-releases or remasters of No One Lives Forever. So you might be wondering... ...how I got my hands on this game in the first place, if it's so difficult. Well. 
Oh, he just continues to burn. Did you find out anything? I was ambushed before I could question the bastard. You okay? I suppose, although I think someone might have tried to drug me. Something stung the back of my neck as I was heading for the ladies' room. Might have been a dart. How do you feel now? Not bad. Meet me at this address in one hour. Why not go together? I want to poke around and see who these people are. They may be linked to harm. Are you sure it's safe? Hell no. It's reckless and dumb, but that's not going to stop me. Well, good luck then. What should I do if you don't make it? Don't worry, doll. I'll make it. If you say so. Head backstage. A friend of mine's waiting in the alley. He'll get you out of here. Just tell him you're with me. You think he'll believe me? He will if you tell him my code name. I don't know your code name. Bold Eagle. <laughs> Good God. What's so funny? Nothing. See you later, Bold Eagle. Not if I see you first. Okay. You know, he's outdated and backwards, but uh, he's kind of charming in a weird way. Yeah, uh... I'm not about to go tell you guys to go torrent the game or whatever. But I will give you two words that might help. Nolf Revival. N-O-L-F, as in no one lives forever. Revival. That should help get you started. Fraulein Wagner, for our, our, our conversation, I have initiated an internal investigation regarding the supposed ex expendability directive from the executive director. Franz. Huh. Now where, where oh where did I see the uh... Oh that's funny, I don't have a weapon out, she just runs around with her fists out. There he is, passing out. Actually I want to see this one. HA! <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Looking good. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. He passed out. It's weird, the flame doesn't show up over certain backgrounds. Huh. Oh, enough goofing. Oh, no, he's back. Uh, huh? Don't worry about it. You won't remember any of this tomorrow. I want to find the manager's office. There was armor there. Oh, right, that was back in the other direction. Never mind! Nice suits. Oh, shit. Oh, right, backstage. Yeah, there was a door there. Hmm. Embarrassing. I wonder. Nope. The fuck? The uh, aesthetic in this particular corridor is more medieval temple than 60s nightclub.
Working mirrors are still actually kind of rare, so I'm kind of impressed by that. I mean, they even went to the trouble of, you know, reversing the model because she's punching with her left hand. I guess she does punch with her with both hands, then. Fine, whatever. Yoink. Contains a book on criminal sociology by Dr. Melvin Fitzroy, Ph.D. Subtle. As subtle as I am. Clearly, I'm going up against my perfect foe. And then that one eyed dude shoots him in the back and leaves a rose. Oh no! Uh, uh. I guess I'll have to improvise. Rest in peace, buddy. Fucking burning pistol rounds. Can I not? No? Okay. Oh. Shit. Okay. This game has a lot more personality than a lot of games back then. Beer. We supply Harm's entire staff with the finest Deutsch brews. Really? That must be a lot of beer. Indeed. Our studies show that criminals drink three times as much alcohol as law-abiding citizens. Odd. So beer turns people into criminals? The correlation doesn't imply causality. <laughs> Just because criminals drink a lot of beer doesn't mean that beer causes crime. It's possible that people with criminal tendencies enjoy beer because it helps to soothe their conscience. Or perhaps criminal behavior is caused in part by a genetic predisposition that also, coincidentally, makes criminals like the taste of beer more than the average person. Who knows? You're very knowledgeable about these things. Criminal sociology is a hobby of mine. I think it's important to understand not just the individual psychological roots of one's behavior, but also the social circumstances that foster that behavior. Whether we like it or not, we are shaped by our environment. Surely you're not suggesting that individuals aren't accountable for their actions. Oh no, of course not. Just because we are products of the societies we're born into doesn't absolve us of personal responsibility. <laughs> Our religions and laws teach us what is right and what is wrong. Frequently, the right choice is the more difficult path to take. It requires sacrifice, self-discipline, patience, virtues that many of us find somewhat lacking in our natures. But what if you're born into a hedonistic culture? Look across history. The reason hedonism is discouraged by most religions and governments is that it weakens a civilization. It breeds sloth, petulance, degeneracy, and selfishness. A divided nation is a fragile nation waiting to be conquered. Unity is strength. Humans instinctively fashion order out of chaos. It is a natural, probably genetic impulse. Therefore, even an individual born into troubled times has the capacity, and even the duty, to behave in a manner that promotes unity, however difficult it may be. Then what about us? I can only speak for myself. I am a product of a broken household, which introduced a general lack of self-confidence in me at a very early age. These feelings of inadequacy blossomed into anger as I matured that the rigors of adolescence with the teasing and abuse and awkwardness we must all endure only exacerbated. But even though I've identified the source of my problems, I'm still too childish and petty to become a responsible, mature citizen. Well, admitting you have a problem is the first step, I suppose. I like to think so. That is far and away the most clever henchman I've ever encountered, and I'm going to feel legitimately bad about shooting him in about three seconds. Yeah, what was that? Uh oh. 
Maybe I just think I'm hearing things. Tell you what. At least don't use it with the burning rounds. Who's there? Oh hell. Are you okay? Wake up over there. Shit. And of course right now the timer goes. <laughs> ah. Maybe I do have to sneak past them. That's a lot of dudes and a lot of lights. And I don't have a silencer on me either. Well, fuck. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play No One Lives Forever. When we get back into that. Holy crap, this music is loud. Later.